there is a huge research effort going on packaging because not just about uh, you know it is not just about power power dissipation or stuff like that uh, packaging when we talk about more than more and having uh, imager and processor and memory in the same die so packaging is also becoming more complex there is a lot of research happening on packaging also additionally because we want more speeds the, the typical inductive effects of the uh, package start to figure in so just you know exposing you to different research areas associated with dlsi and you know uh, this is how the power the power generation on our chips has increased okay but this is how the air cooling capability is so air cooling capability has will remain largely constant is it not air can cool only this much can dissipate remove only this much of heat from a given area in a given amount of time after that you start to use fans and all that hmm? but in reality today even in your uh, mobile phone so if you look at qualcomm's latest chips specifications you will see mobile phone application processors also used what is called as liquid cooling so that you can dis you can remove heat much faster and your chip can function at the required performance level okay so i think yeah this kind of brings me to the end of this session i know i had to rush through to the last few slides but frankly there was not much to know about or talk about except i wanted you to be introduced to these all these domains and challenges in dlsi manufacturing processes also if you have any if you have any questions please shoot yes madhur so why are there only a handful of companies in the world that do certification because just because it is so complex and so costly now only What's until you have very deep pockets you cannot afford to put that kind of money in there na so what stops a company like reliance or tata to make a fabrication facility indigenous fabrication facility oh indigenous fabrication facility in india so many many things you know uh, first is that to be able to have a so first thing you realize is that fab is costly itna aapko samajh mein aa raha hai such complex equipment such things need to be there so making a fab setting a fab is a very costly process are you able to understand this yes sir so then once you have a fab made you would want to utilize it 24 cross 7 365 days a week uh, a year yes sir do you know one single fab consumes what kind of water and electricity i don't know so it requires hundreds of megawatts of electricity just to run one fab india is yet not an electricity energy surplus country we have we have regular power cuts in summers where we say that uh, uh, okay industry will pay this higher price and there will also be power cuts that industry has to face because the residential consumers should get the power hmm? i and you should sit in ac so industries use their generators to generate their power they they are given power cuts load shedding hota hai so uh, one aspect availability of abundant of water second aspect we don't have we don't have water supply in our cities even delhi mein there are areas where there is no no regular water supply we are the capital city here so there are many many reasons where our infrastructure is lacking okay so it is not just setting for, so in india it is not just about establishing the facilities now also ensuring that you have the electricity made available to you you have water made available to you so the overall cost of establishing a fab increases much more in india and as soon as that happens the products that you will make will be costlier than products that are made in tsmc or in a samsung fab in korea so why would anyone come to you no, sir, so we... even if you make a fab you will not be able to sell to anyone so if you use the same technology or similar technology that is being used by tsmc tsmc or samsung or any other japan company so in tsmc and samsung these met electricity and water are provided by the government over here this thing has to be an ensured by the manufacturer himself because supply hai nahi 
I have to set up my captive power plant to be able to do this. So that is extra cost in making the fab, na? Okay, so so it's a it should be a combined effort by government as well as private sector. Yes, it's all about economics. So government is saying we are giving you do so much subsidy, ab to bana lo. But the government is not realizing that the economics of a fab is much much bigger than just setting up that fab. It is about ensuring that there is uninterrupted power supply. uh that the labor is you know the labor laws are are such that you are able to use the fab uh, 24 cross 7 365 days a year and so on so there are many constraints because of which even though people have shown intent so as of now tata group has shown intent to participate in a semiconductor fab but till now all these attempts have fizzled out because it is a very costly affair it's a very very high risk and the indian government is not willing to take up the the bill of that risk and why should it because if the profits come they will go to the private party then why should the loss come to the government the government is right in that on terms but then should the government expand the semiconductor complex for example that we have in mohali which is a government fab so these are these are you know tough questions to answer but yeah some answers would come from the bare, bare economics of it that economics do not allow it to be done in india yet and you know uh, also look at it like this you invest itna billion dollars to make a fab how many jobs do you create for the government of india if they would invest that kind of money in the education sector or in uh, in you know uh, medium and small industry sector they will be able to create much much more jobs तो बहुत सारे डायमेंशन हैं मधुर इसके इट्स नॉट अ सिंपल आंसर सो सो इवन सो डिजाइनिंग एंड वेरिफिकेशन पार्ट इज डन इन इंडिया लॉट बट इवेंचुअली द फैब्रिकेशन इज डन आउटसाइड सो यस बिकॉज़ डिजाइनिंग एंड वेरिफिकेशन डज नॉट रिक्वायर दैट काइंड ऑफ एन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ना इट रिक्वायर्स मशीन्स सीपीयूज यू कैन परचेस इवन देयर देयर आर लॉट्स ऑफ कंस्ट्रेंट्स यू गो टू एनी ऑफ दीस कंपनीज एंड यू टॉक टू द फाइनेंस पीपल द सेट मैनेजर्स दे विल जस्ट पुल देयर हेयर something that you know uske andar bhi government has such constraints today that uh, even that is a difficult thing to do but okay because of people like you who are good who will turn out to be good designers companies still want to set up shop in india okay otherwise <laughs> wo bhi nahi hoga okay sir okay animesh yeah, sir i have seen uh, posts like uh, post silicon validation engineers what do they do I, i do not know what do they do how okay. do they participate so, in this flow post silicon is after silicon is ready so what do you need to do you need to test so when you test so testing can be done you just bring a testing machine to india and you bring the wafers and you can test here hai na so testing is done in india more than that you can test and then you can debug okay by using stuff like this by using stuff like scan chains built in self characterizers you can identify where the failure is and then you can help make the next version of the design better so that is post post silicon validation i thought the, these all uh, best and scan chains were uh, already tested while we were designing and uh, performing every uh, verification yeah but That is still pre-silicon, na? Silicon ke baad bhi to you will test. Mm-hmm. So post-silicon validation is that okay? I wanted this functionality. So let us say like this: uh, I make a set-top box chip. Hmm. I get the silicon. Now I have to ensure that the silicon is able to run the entire suite of programs, whether it is Netflix or whether it is uh, Z Z TV or whether it is uh, simple uh, cable TV relay. Hmm. whether it is an app or whether it is a, a simple cable tv relay and it should be secure there are so many functionalities linked to silica to this piece of silicon that i have just fabricated is it not mm, yes sir that needs to be validated you do not even need a tester to do that you you use a tester you got the product out now now that you have the product in hand which is seemingly all correct we need to validate that all the functionality that i wanted it to have does it have it mm mm-hmm. yes sir is my software 
properly correlated with the hardware that I have manufactured yet. So all that Got is part of post silicon validation. Got it. Okay.